it doesn't take a lot to pick up on where we're going to be worrying about the storms for Tuesday. When Calgary's feeling like 7 and Winnipeg's feeling like 41, you know there's going to be a boundary somewhere. And it's certainly going to be closer to Winnipeg than Calgary. That's where we're going to be looking at multiple severe storms, maybe even a severe cluster by the time we get to later Tuesday afternoon. So let's first look at the energy. Now normally when we're looking at our instability, we can get into those greens, maybe some yellows, but by the time we get to about 4 p.m., a few streaks of purple, that's over 4,500 joules of Cape. That's more so what we look at down towards the Gulf of Mexico. And then you start to see those little dots where it goes down to yellow and green. That's actually a sign that that's where the storms are already sparking up and then they're gonna feed on all that instability through the evening. Now, on the other hand, this is another thing we look at for severe storms. This is our convective inhibition. So this is the opposite of our energy. This is what wants to suppress it and it really erodes through the afternoon. As it erodes, that's when the storms are gonna pop up and that's when we can get the severe stuff. So let's time it out through the afternoon there, 7 p.m. That's when we're gonna start to see that line really develop uh, right from Winnipeg down into eastern North Dakota. There is a possibility for these trains to be, or these storms to be training, uh, and that could mean you could get multiple rounds of torrential rainfall, maybe hail, but locally we will certainly see over 100 millimeters just on Tuesday.